Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're going to show you how you can make a fav icon in Photoshop. Now a fav icon, uh, otherwise known as a shortcut icon, website icon or a bookmark icon, um, is essentially this little image that you can see um, when you're browsing the internet in things like uh, Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox and uh, they come into play when you bookmark your pages or even in here like in Firefox where you tab your content you can see the browser lab, little iStock camera and also the Adobe fav icon. So fav icons have been around for quite a while and uh, web designers and internet users are used to working with them and, uh, and seeing them. So the good news is making one for your website is very straightforward. Uh, as a web designer there's essentially a couple of options that you have open to allow you to create a fav icon. Now the first one is you can uh, Google you know, how to make a fav icon, fav icon creator and you can use one of the uh, many free online fav icon generation tools. Now this one here is quite popular, it's uh, favicon.cc and on uh, generators like this you can either uh, upload an image and it will make the fav icon for you. It uh, also gives you the opportunity here to sit and draw your own fav icon. Uh, you can even animate it, you've got use of colours and so forth. Um, you know, however, if you're like me, I, I prefer to make my fav icons out of uh, Photoshop. It gives you a little bit more control, and that's the sort of platform that I'm used to and familiar with. So the main important thing to bear in mind with, uh, with fav icons is that the best format to save your file is a .ico, a .ico file. You can create fav icons um, from files like PNGs, um, but however, it's the best one that's the most uh, browser compatible is the .ico format. Now, you're probably already familiar that if you make a file in Photoshop and try and save it as a .ico, the format's not available. So the first thing you need to do before you create your fav icon is to download the, uh, the plugin that you need, the file format plugin for the .ico. And the best place to get this from is to go to telegraphics.com .au forward slash sw forward slash hash ico format and this is a free download and it gives you the uh, format the file format plugin that you need for photoshop to create fav icons so i've got cs5 so i'll just try and grab the latest version the cs5 beta version and i'll uh, download this onto my desktop so once downloaded simply open the disk and you'll see the ICO plugin uh, file that we need to install in Photoshop. So the easy way to do this is to locate the Photoshop system files on a Mac, they're usually in applications and then if you want to make your way across to uh, Photoshop then go to plugins, file formats and you want to copy across the ICO plugin into this file formats folder like I've done already. So the next time that you launch Photoshop, the plugin is installed and ready to use so that you can start saving .icos. Now to uh, use an example, I've got this uh, logo that I'm going to use to create a fav icon. Obviously it's too big so I'm going to create a new canvas for our uh, icon and the dimensions need to be 16 by 16 with a resolution of 72 dpi RGB. And the great thing is with um, ICOs is that you can save them with a transparent background in the same way that you can save high quality PNG 24s. So usually when I create fav icons, um, unless I need to use a solid block of colour, I usually have the transparent background in place. So let's just push OK. So there's our new little uh, fav icon canvas. And I'm just going to simply drag this image across. Let's just get rid of that. Make this a little bit bigger. Obviously now we need to uh, resize our icon. Okay, so I'm just going to use the uh, transform tool just to scale our image down. I'm just holding down uh, shift and alt to preserve the ratio. And uh, this is just allow me to sort of precisely place my logo inside the canvas area. Okay, so now that that's uh, ready to go, we can save the file. So we go to File, Save As. I'm just going to call this one My Icon, 
And if we go down to the uh, format, we should see now that the ICO Windows icon format is available for us. I'm just going to save and replace the one that's already there. And when saving, we're going to choose the standard ICO format for fav icons. Next comes the integration of your fav icon onto your web pages. And the great thing is, is this is really simple. Simply go inside the head tags of your web pages that you wish the fav icon to appear on. Uh, usually, if you want it to appear on every page of your website, just put this into the uh, the head include or the template um, that contains the head area of your web page, and you simply type link rel, and we select shortcut icon, and then much like a link or an image, you select the source of the uh, of the file. So ours is myicon.ico, and we just close that tag. So it's important that that features inside the head. Uh, that way then when we uh, load our test page you'll see that our little new fav icon with its transparent background is working quite nicely in both the status bar and the tab for this window in Firefox.